Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about transposing the C major scale to other keys. We're going to put the scale into D flat, D, and E flat major. And so this first pattern is going to help us with four of the 24 Segovia scales. And there's really not a lot to say about this, except that you have to become familiar and sort of comfortable with seeing a pattern on the fretboard and then shifting it. So it's almost like a visual skill or a skill of visualization. I do want to say, however, that I think it's really important that as guitarists, we also aspire to be musicians. And what I mean is there are guitar players who sort of paint by number, you know, they play patterns on the fretboard. They don't really know what they're playing, uh, but they can, they can, get to a certain level by doing that. And I think that's okay. That's part of music is kind of pattern recognition and uh, orienting yourself that way. But I would encourage you to go the extra step and really understand what you're playing as much as possible. And so I'm going to play through these scales and say the note names. I know it's a little meticulous, but I think it's going to be beneficial. Um, so. First, let's play the C major scale as a review. Um, let's play it together at sort of a, a slow tempo. One, two, ready, play. And C, D, E, F, G. Try to say the note names. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Did you end on the index finger? Good job, I hope you did. That means you alternated through the scale, most likely. Um, now, we take the same exact pattern and we just move it up one fret. And now we're starting in the note D flat, but we're getting all the same sounds, all the same intervals. I will do this slowly, not necessarily in rhythm, but I want you to say the note names with me. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this uh, tab and notation in the course player. So we have D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, B flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, B flat, C, B flat. starting to see what's happening now. It's, it's uh, very simple, but it takes some practice. Simple to understand, takes some practice to do, maybe. So let's move it up to D. Our second finger is now on the fifth fret of the fifth string, and this is uh, D major. And so we're gonna have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, and the note names are as follows. Let's play together. Ready, and D. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp. And finally, we're going to play starting in fifth position, second finger on the sixth fret of the A string. This is the scale E flat. And this is the last one that Segovia uses with this, this uh, particular fingering. And um, here, because we're in the key of E flat, we're gonna have three flats. Um, and they are as follows. E flat, F, Shift D C B flat B flat. 
So in addition to getting comfortable with the shifting of the pattern, I really strongly encourage that you, you recite the note names, at least in the beginning, so that you're making it really conscious in your mind. The sound, the connection of the sound, the feeling in the hand, and then that's, uh, that mental or intellectual thing of, of knowing the note names, that's going to be hugely helpful to you. Um, try to maintain the focus on alternation. And in this chapter of the course, we're really just playing index middle, but you could incorporate the repeated notes as we've done in the past. Uh, and also try practicing the scales, both free stroke and rest stroke, and maybe go back and revisit the technique masterclass on the stroke types to kind of keep those ideas in mind as you're playing and as you're refining the right hand technique as well. So I think this is pretty good coverage of this first scale and some of the issues involved uh, technically and musically. In the next chapter, we're going to go on to the second pattern, which will also be used for more than uh, just a single scale, but for multiple scales. Okay, let's go.